Hi there, my name is Steven, and today I'll be taking an extended look at the Targus Hyperdrive Dual HDMI 10-in-1 Dock. Seeing how you can use a device like this to get more compatibility out of your Mac top or compatible laptop. Turning your standard laptop into a multi-screen setup with high quality speeds, connectivity, and charging, all using just a single port of your device. Getting right into the unboxing, there wasn't actually much to unpack here. It just had the hyperdrive device itself there, as well as a little quick start guide if you do need help with the driverless technology there to get the HDMI cables working with the internet. But you can see all the features there listed on the box itself from the dual 4K HDMI cables, the USB-C connectivity, as well as the different speeds listed there, as you can see. Overall, it is fairly powerful as a device. The main benefit of this device is just how compatible it is. It can plug into almost any kind of MacBook of any kind. As you can see there, the MacBook Pro, iMac, and multiple sorts. And you can actually use this device with Windows laptops as well. You just have to make sure it has either a compatible cable or you have a, an adapter to make sure you can actually connect it to the device. Now, thanks to the hyperdrive driverless technology, you don't actually need to install anything to use the device. All you have to do is plug the cable right into your MacBook and you're instantly ready to go, hooking up any kind of cables or gadgets you need into this device using either the SSD there or the any of the HDMI or USB connectors there, as well as the audio jack. Overall, it's extremely easy to use. And if you do have trouble, there's plenty of support on Targus's website. And this quick start guide is just there in case you have trouble or you wanna know how to use the digital software to make the most out of the ethernet and the HDMI cables. Now, Clay is taking a closer look at the Hyper Dual device here. You do have the SD port as well as the micro SD port, both with extremely high speeds that you can connect and transfer data to and from your MacBook seamlessly. And then over on the back side here, we have the Ethernet cable as well as the USB C power adapter that you do need to power both your MacBook and the device itself simultaneously. And then on the final part here, we have the two 4K compatible HDMI ports there as well as two high quality USB-A connectors there and then a USB-C connector for your other Mac devices. And then last but not least, you have a headphone jack there that can be used for a microphone and a headset at the same time as you would expect on a standard laptop. These ports allow you to expand your horizons and what you can actually connect with your laptop, breaking out of just the standard Apple connectors there as I was able to use both multiple brands that I would normally use my Windows laptops or computers, being able to plug it straight into this with no lag whatsoever for a very seamless connection. And as you can see here, I have the Targus Hyperdrive set up with my Mac hooked up all into the single device here. As you can see, I have two HDMI cables for 4K HD quality, a mini wireless USB mouse, as well as an ethernet cable, and then the standard power adapter for my Mac that just goes straight into a wall outlet. And it's all connected just to using this simple single plug. I was really impressed just to find that everything does work through a single connector there. But as you can see, I have the monitors set up there. I have two of them side by side, and you can either use these all as a single monitor there, kind of going across. You can see my mouse move across the screens there, and then onto the third one there, although you can organize it so it's more streamlined into the directions you want it to go. And then using the built-in software here, once I go back to the original Mac device, once you open this up there, you have one installer for the Windows and then one for the Mac OS. It's already pre-installed there onto the Hyper there, so all you have to do is double click the one that you use and it'll open up the InstaView app there. And then you can choose between the standard and the mirrored display. Now with the mirror display selected, all three monitors will display the exact same thing. As you can see there, I have my mouse moving on all three monitors and it just displays the exact same thing. It's very nice if you're giving some kind of presentation or anything like that, you'd be able to stream something on here similar as you would to the PowerPoint without having to worry with any other connections of any kind. Just using this device, you can simply hook everything you need to go up and you'll have multiple screens you can access, being able to stream things both for business or personal use. Although personally, I do enjoy using the extended display as it allows me to kind of spread my workspace across. I'd be able to have um, videos here for research purposes. I will have my work there and then any other socials I need to have activated at the same time, creating a very nice workflow, being able to use the keyboard there while using it to control the different kind of screens you have available. Now, I did personally have a bit of trouble with these softwares initially. For some reason, the drivers that were pre-installed onto my device weren't actually, were a bit faulty. I did have to download them, although you can do so very easily over at Targus's website. 
As I said, all you have to do is go to the Targus website there, select the docking sections, and then all I have to do is just scroll down to the very bottom. There we are, the dual 4K docking hub. All you have to do is download the driver you need. There are two available, the Ethernet and the standard driver. You just click the one there that you need for Mac or your Linux or Windows, and you're ready to go. Download it, follow the instructions, and I was able to get back into using my dual 4K screens in a matter of a few minutes. Now, one of the main benefits of using this setup is actually the fact of just how many things you can have plugged into this. While it doesn't have as many standard USB-A cables as I would expect, there were still plenty enough to get the job done. Having two primary ones, as well as a USB-C connector there, and even an audio output cable. Using this, I was able to connect both multiple devices at the same time, from my wireless mouse there to a standard wired mouse, as well as a webcam that I have set up, and even my microphone I use to record audio. All of which I was able to connect to my MacBook that I previously wouldn't be able to, as it doesn't actually have the correct ports there. Most of my devices are standard USBs that aren't able to connect into this, but with this simple device, I was able to do all that and more, connecting both my Ethernet cable as well, including some micro SD options there that I was able to connect to if I wanted to upload any kind of photos from a digital camera of any kind. Truly turning your MacBook into an all-in-one desktop experience. And if you ever needed to take it on the go, all you can do is simply unplug the cable there. And once you're unplugged, the monitors will go back to normal and you're ready to go taking this with you on the road. Overall, I was fairly impressed with just how simple the device was to use, offering 10 different ports that you can use to customize your experience and get the most out of your potential device. Although I was a little concerned when I saw that the two HDMI cables did have differing refresh rates, with the first one offering a strong 60 FPS refresh rate, the second one only offers 30 FPS. Personally, I do use two monitors myself that have differing refresh rates, and it doesn't affect me in any way, as I often either have stationary things or separate videos playing on either one, especially if I was using the 4K displays that are compatible with this device. And the only other drawback I might see people having a problem with is that you do have to have this device plugged in at all times to use it. Although it does make sense given the nature of this device, it is more of a stationary setup that you would come home to after a long day, plugging it in using just a single port and you're ready to start working and with your extended setup having all the ports you need in one simple place instead of having to buy a bunch of different accessories and adapters just to get a fraction of what this device could offer you. If you do want to learn more about the Targus Hyperdrive Dual HDMI 10 in one dock or any of Targus' other docks like their multi-USB hubs, you can do so over at the Best Buy store. And if you want to read my full detailed review and my review on the Targus backpack that you can use to pair with this device, you can find all of those and more over at the Best Buy blog.